And tell me, honey, will we go far? Listen, baby, don't break my heart. I set off from Newcastle this morning and I'm heading south. So I've stupidly entered for a running marathon uh, down in Wales. My mate Connor persuaded me. But I've also decided to cycle down there, seeing I've got a bit of time during the week. It's about 300 miles. Get down to Bristol and then we'll wake up early on Saturday morning and then Connor's gonna drive across to Swansea and the, the Gower, which is where the marathon is. And I'm not really trained for it. I've done one park run, which is the first park run I've done since uh, 2014. And then done like a handful of other training runs. But I find that if you're fit from cycling, you can push yourself quite hard and it really destroys your legs when you're running because your muscles are, just aren't used to the, the impact. So we'll see how sad it goes. I'll be definitely very sore. Let's take it slow. I just stopped off in Harrogate. I've had two falafel wraps and I'm gonna try and get another 40 miles in before I uh, pitch my tent and see if I can find somewhere to camp. It's day two and I'm currently riding on the Trans Pennine Trail which I just saw on a signpost. Just thought it nice to get off from the, um, the roads and get away from the traffic. And last night I was gonna camp, but I was just standing on the side of the road, looking at my map and figuring out where was a good spot. And a van passed me and they asked if I was all right and then pulled up and I asked if there was anywhere good to camp in the vicinity and they told me not to camp in the, the woods that was um, were di directly opposite me and they said there was a park close by that possibly could have been good then they also offered their garden so I kindly took them up on their offer and uh, put the, the bike in their van and drove me the two miles to their house and uh, yeah, I'm very thankful um, from Rob and his family. Um, they ended up putting me up in a bed and uh, made some very good porridge in the morning. I was very glad to have a roof over my head yesterday considering it was raining all night. It's been nice to set off in the dry and uh, not be wet. The route I'm following here isn't exactly the fastest option but considering I've got a 30 odd kilo bike anyway it's nice just to take things slow. Now that you watch this, I hope that you 
this wind is ridiculous. There's points where I'm barely moving and it's not helping that I've got basically a parachute on the front of my bike with the two panniers. After experiencing the true kindness of strangers last night, uh, going through Rotherham today, someone on a moped tried to kick me off the bike. So I experienced the full flip side of the coin. Oh, it's tough going in this wind. So there's been a, a slight change in plans. I'm now gonna reroute and I'm heading from Nottingham where I was staying last night with my sister and I'm heading towards Grantham where I'm gonna get a train to London. So I've been managed to get a ticket uh, for Ruler um, tonight. So it'd be a shame not to go to that. And then I'm gonna get a train from there to Bristol to run the marathon. On Friday. It's probably good because it'll save my legs and mean I'm not tiring myself out by um, pushing all the way. You ready for the marathon tomorrow? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I've trained um, in a very strict regime. Yeah, Un unlike me. Yeah, unlike Josh. The Garrow Marathon is tomorrow. Um, let me know if you'd like me to film it. And also let me know if you'd like me to film a video on why the front of my bike weighs 25 kilos. Um, but yeah, as, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>